Yeah, but 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 also it, it's I mean it, the, 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 there's the there's the emotional aspect of this. You know, you get a competent lawyer, right? And you say, well, this is about the law. You know, I, I you know I I can nickel and dime everything else. You know, but listen, this is going to affect me in this way, and these are the yeah. repercu- these are the repercussions. Yeah. These are the repercussions. I mean, it 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 it, it can it can balloon. It can yeah. I mean it can have multiple effects. You know, if it starts, if if the, if the repercussions of uh, of 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 the law uh, dealing with you starts with five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or whatever it is, and you say, well, you're gonna nickel and dime your way. Hey, it has multiple effects. It will end up getting to almost hundred thousand. Yeah. It has multiple effects. So yeah. the question, though, is, you know, you, you you have folk who who say, well, I'm gonna nickel and dime it, as opposed to getting substantial representation. When I talk about what I mean by the emotional aspect of it is that. Look, you get you get substantial legal representation. You get somebody uh, get get somebody uh, a qualified lawyer, somebody who knows what they're doing, who has a track record, who is not afraid to. You can go to sleep at night. Yeah, it'll help a lot better. Yeah, that yeah. that you know. Listen, uh, uh, my lawyer is handling this. She's competent. He's competent. You know, he's qualified. She's qualified. You go to bed at night. Yeah. You know, but if you are the one who say, "Well, I'm going to handle it myself." I don't think you can sleep at night with that because when you wake up, you got so many other things on your head. Then, yeah. then wait. Then you have to really um, <laughs> almost as if you, you you are in law school. That's what you got to do. Right. And then while you were speaking, I just thought of you know a few examples of um, you know past clients I've worked with. There have been a couple, quite a few actually, who they recognized they had a challenge up front, but for whatever reason, like you mentioned, life got in the way or they were dealing with some other weighty issues. For a lot of them, they had they were still dealing with grief because somebody had just passed and it wasn't like a, that wasn't top of their mind to mm-hmm. do that kind of preparation, but they recognized that they had an issue. But after coming to me and we fleshed out the issue, they're, they're really saying, okay, I could have done this sooner. You know, this could have been done better. I could have mm-hmm. got better counsel at this point. And then we would have been Kind of way ahead. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So I've had many, many, you know, doing that. And then to your point about just, um, uh, just kind of foregoing that, or, or nickel and dime it, or you can't afford it. I've had some who, you know, they just didn't do anything about it. Um, then come to me, and we go through the review of the case. And what you didn't pay for then ends up costing you ten thousand dollars in a judgment, forty thousand dollars <laughs> in a judgment. I mean, seriously, you know, mm-hmm. when this could have been handled for a lot less if you paid, so, you know, an attorney for it. But I'm just saying, I'm just mm-hmm. saying what mm-hmm. the repercussions are, and mm-hmm. I'm, what I'm saying is that it's going to be there's a cost no matter what. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. so you know, it's just what do you, for your own best interest, right? Not me, not any other attorney that you're going to pay for your own best interest. What are you willing to pay for it? I mean, honestly, if you think you're not going to be paying up front, you're going to be paying. Up, I've seen it happen. I mean, I'm I. I can't make this stuff up. I've seen it happen. Yeah, people yeah. forego, you know, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. any legal advice. They just don't do anything. They just play the wait and see game, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and then you know get hit with ten thousand dollar judgments because mm-hmm. nothing happens. Forty thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, this happens often. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's it's. <laughs> do you want, what do you want to do? What yeah, do you think is yeah. going to help best uh, for you? And so you you, you, you could have taken care of it at the front end. Right, but now right. you decided not to, and now you end up getting buried yeah. with a judgment from the court. Not only there's a judgment, there's an enforcement on the judgment too. Yeah. That's yeah. what you got to deal with too, right? Exactly. That's the next step. So you get the judgment, you know, you're liable for it, and then you don't do anything about that either. Well, that's when they start garnishing your pay, you know, or that's when they start putting the lien on your property. I mean, there are so many mechanisms to, to get what is um, ordered by the court. Whereas, you know, maybe if you would have hired um, an attorney or even if you responded in your own defense, I say that too, even if you just respond, yeah. there can be some room for negotiation. It didn't have to go to the worst case scenario. And I think a lot of times we just bury ourselves in that because we just don't believe that anything can get better. And that's not true.